G'day folks. Today I'm going to show you how to download Windows 10 ISO so you can upgrade your computer to Windows 10. Even if you don't have the Get Windows 10 application showing that you have uh, Windows 10 ready to be installed on your computer, like this one is still not showing that Windows 10 is ready and even though I've checked for updates still there is nothing. And yeah. So first off, make sure what edition of Windows you're running. This computer is running Windows 8.1 Pro and it's got a 64-bit architecture. So open your web browser and head over to this address. So this tool allows you to download the Windows 10 ISO. You can either create a bootable USB pen drive or you can download the ISO with this tool. So according to your system's architecture, you can download 64-bit or 32-bit. You gotta download 64-bit tool. Wait for it to download. So once Media Creation Tool has finished downloading, uh, run the tool. You can run it directly off the Chrome web browser. And wait for it to launch. It takes a while for this tool to launch, but you just have to be patient. So right now you can close these open windows and we're still waiting for the tool to launch. Now if you run the tool you just downloaded, it gives you two options. The first one is upgrade this PC now and the second one is create installation media for another PC. Now I suggest you select the second option and have a USB drive which has at least 8 gigabytes of storage space. Why we are doing this because you'll have a copy of Windows 10 on a USB drive and you can use the same USB drive to upgrade as many Windows PCs as you want and you won't need to download a fresh copy of Windows 10 uh, on say on another PC if you say if you want to upgrade it. So it will save time and a lot of internet bandwidth. So select the second option and click next. Select your language and select the correct edition. This is very important because you need to select the correct edition otherwise the Windows setup will ask for a new product key. So to check what edition of Windows you're using right click this PC and go to properties and see what edition of Windows you're running. And here is the upgrade path. So if you're running Windows 7 starters, Windows 7 Home Basic, Home Premium, Windows 8.1 or Windows 8.1 with Bing, you'll need to select Windows 10 Home. Uh, this one or if your Windows uh, Win Windows computer is running Windows 7 Professional, Windows 7 Ultimate or Windows 8.1 Pro then select Windows 10 Pro so in my case I'm running Windows 10 Pro so I'm going to select Windows 10 Pro and the architecture I suggest you download both of them but uh, it's better that you install a 64-bit OS on your PC but if you're running a 32-bit OS select the first option or if your PC is very old and don't support 64-bit but I'm gonna download both and let's click next so now I'll select the first option I have a USB drive ready here let me just plug this in and make sure the USB drive is empty close that and we're gonna select the first option you can also create an ISO file that you can burn on a DVD later select the first option click next select the removable drive and make sure it's the correct removable drive and yeah it's the N1 and then click next and now you just wait for sit back relax wait for it to download and create the installation files automatically on the USB drive Now once the media creation tool finishes creating a boot pen drive, uh, head over to my computer and check the drive. Uh, its icon should be different and if you double click to open it, you'll see all the required files to install Windows. So now all you have to do is just double click the file and wait for the installer to launch. And again, it takes around a minute or so for the setup to launch, so just be patient and yeah, you're ready to upgrade your computer to Windows 10.